Hey, it's Dr. Rosie, and I want to take you through a, a recipe I'm going to be making for my next week's uh, fast, which I'm going to do a bone broth fast. I've been doing a fast uh, here every beginning of the month. Um, we, um, my husband and I have been doing this uh, with water, but this time we've chosen to do a bone broth fast and want to give you a recipe. Actually, we're doing a seminar on immunity and I know that the biggest things that builds up the immunity is uh, good gut function. And so when we uh, focus on the immune system, especially during this next season, it's all about uh, making sure that you have um, a good functioning gut and uh, your uh, immune system is also stemming from your gut. So we're gonna also give this as a sample for our immunity talk on Saturday. So you start with uh, good bones uh, from grass-fed sources. So we have um, a patient who you know, provides uh, our beef and so we get bones uh, from the butcher, from the grass-fed beef that we buy from her. And uh, so the bone itself has typically lots of collagen um, that it gets released while you make this uh, bone broth. And what's beautiful about the just amino acids like proline and glutamine that gets released uh, typically from the joint, um, the white collagen here gets released, the fat, the good quality minerals and everything that you need from the bone. And this is actually gonna be used um, several times. So it's gonna be used like maybe two or three times so I can have enough broth for the five days that we're gonna fast. So you get a good a bone here, but uh, knowing that once this broth is done, we're gonna rebrew it um, and reboil it for about uh, two or three more times until actually this bone gets so demineralized that it starts to fall apart and that's what you want. And so, um, so what you put in it and uh, the biggest thing is making sure that uh, you get the uh, bone in there and then the water, if you want good uh, filtered water. So I've been boiling some reverse osmosis water here and we're going to um, fill that up there. Uh, the, the, the pot that I'm using, some people ask me about the pot. If you have a crock pot, you can do it there. We have a clay pot and it's called an Instapot, which um, I love. Um, it, it actually does it in less time than a crock pot, which you would need to boil it for about eight hours. This does it like in half the time or less. And so um, I fill it up basically to um, the top there. And then the next thing I add, and this is um, uh, up to you how much spices you wanna put in there, but I, um, I'm gonna be cutting up an onion. I forgot to cut it and pre-cut it, but then I'm gonna put this whole onion in there in chunks uh, of uh, four squares. I typically love to put um, lots of spices. So we put uh, garlic. I put like about six cloves of garlic in there and that's gonna boil with the beef. And uh, to me, uh, the biggest thing that you have to really use um, is a uh, apple cider vinegar to demineralize a bone. And so um, you can put like about a tablespoon or I don't really ever measure anything, but like a splash in there of uh, apple cider vinegar. And that's what's gonna actually work with demineralizing the bone and getting the minerals that you want from there. Then you want sea salt or Himalayan salt, um, whatever you want to use. You want to add um, as much as, as you want in there. I typically do like about maybe two tablespoons of salt. Um, you can do less, um, but you're going to be really loving this once you do more spices. Cumin is another spice that I use. Um, Cumin is very beneficial for our health. And so I do a splash of that again. It's up to you how much you want to use as far as uh, spices. Ginger, you can actually use the root. I still stick in um, about an inch of ginger in there, or you can use a powder or you can use both. Um, really doesn't matter how much. <laughs> it's just up to you and what you like in it. And then I use uh, typically also, uh, of course, pepper um, to activate the um, 
curcumin that we're going to use, which is a turmeric as well. You want to add some anti-inflammatory spices. So you can add, again, um, as much as spices you want. But turmeric, I like to use the actual root. You can use the powder as well if you only have the powder. But the turmeric root, I use like about two inches of um, this and that's basically it so uh, you can add more stuff but typically what you want to do is uh, you boil it uh, for about you know like i said an instapot typically it takes about four hours and at four hours then um, you're done um, what you're going to do is you're going to leave the bone there because you're going to reuse it again for two or three more times uh, to really get all the nutrients you want from the grass-fed bone like we talked about all this basically starts to crumble all the marrow uh, seeps in to the broth which are going to be the nutrients you need for your gut lining to reseal and then uh, once it's done we um, you know let it cool off a little bit or take it out and then um, put it in mason jars so uh, we have about maybe you know 20 of these and so we fill it up and let it cool then put it in the fridge and then like i said make that same batch again with that same bone two or three times so uh, where do you get your grass-fed bones i mean typically some butchers uh, will give it to you from like the co-op uh, you know whole foods you can go ask for that um, so I don't know if you have any questions here, you can post here while I'm talking or you can post it later and I'll get back uh, to you for that. So why do you want to do a bone broth fast? I think that this time of year is the best time um, to just really boost your immune system. I myself had uh, issues with my gut uh, prior, so I typically do it like twice a year where I do a fast on bone broth um, and it's just very be beneficial for anybody to do it uh, and how long you want to do it it's up to you again you can do bone broth fast um, for two or three days or five days it's up to you uh, and then reseed your intestines with the good probiotics and prebiotics which we'll be talking on Saturday about that um, but mainly sauerkraut you know kimchi kvass uh, probiotics like that or you can even add bone broth just as a regular um you know supplement to one of your meals uh, so like for breakfast uh, so what uh you want to do is uh you can change it up too if you don't want beef uh, you can do it with uh, chicken or with turkey uh, carcass and so you can uh, do it like that it's, it's up to you and we're actually going to be providing the chicken broth as well tomorrow um, for our class so uh, hopefully this helps and if you can't please like our page and share this information um, just try it out and see how it goes if you want to just try it out tomorrow we'll be giving you samples of bone broth and chicken broth and also a healthy immune boosting salad so hopefully you join us tomorrow and that's at 10 o'clock at our office at Maine Health Solution uh, and it's called lasting immunity really to focus on maximizing your immune health and so uh, again Dr. Rosie Main and uh, post your questions here thank you for listening and share this we'll talk to you later bye-bye